Hello interwebs and welcome back to Let's Play Neverwinter Nights 2. When we left off we got uh, the crossroad keep for ourselves. In other words, they put the dull task of rebuilding this place and uh, preparing the defenses uh, on our shoulders. So now we must do that. And of course we only got uh, a bit of gold from Nasher to do it, and the rest we will have to basically pay from our own uh, wallet with the massive fortune. Yeah, real massive. 44,000. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. What were we doing? Um, Quaro was there, that was Ancus, who is uh, sent here by Axel. And there's Kana, our little chicken. <laughs> yeah, um, by the way, before I started, I also overwrote um, one of the backup saves just in case uh, there's a possibility we might mess something up while rebuilding this place. So, if, hopefully not, but if necessary, we can. Uh, reload and start again from here. Okay, let's chat with Kana and um, let's see. Uh, I want to talk more in depth about the men and their sergeants. What do you want to know about your troops, Captain? Uh, what sort of standards do we have for recruiting new men? <laughs> the Grey Cloaks are primarily a peasant militia, so any man able to carry a spear is let in. Perhaps not any man, <laughs> criminals or those who have that air about them are not accepted. Um, you might not want to bet on that, Connor. <laughs> but you don't have to be so lax, Captain. We can make our standards higher. If we have higher standards, we will find fewer recruits, but they will be more capable. You can always lower the bar if you need more men. <laughs> but be careful, because once we lower our standards, we can never raise them again. Okay... Well, um, seeing as what threat... The King of Shadows and... Uh, all these events seem to pose. Anyone should be able to join and offer amnesty to any criminals we catch if they'll take the cloak. It will be as you command. What do you want to know about your troops? Okay, um... How battle-ready are they? <laughs> Most of our men haven't received a day of training. They may have just as well walked off the farm and been given a blade. The men perform their duties with minimal complaint and there are few incidents of insubordination. Considering the reputation of grey cloaks, they do well. The men's gear is, I hate to say it, pathetic. Most are still equipped with what they brought from home. I believe we have more than our share of men who are sliding into corruption, Captain. That can be infectious and I recommend stamping it out quickly. That's the end of my report, Captain. Okay, let's change subjects. Let's talk about tithing. As captain of Crossroad Keep, you have the right and duty to collect taxes and tithes of the people on Lord Nasher's lands. It's left to your discretion how much you collect. These funds go to the Keep's coffers and can be used for construction. There are two taxes involved, those on merchants and those on the farmers. These lands have been lawless for many years and the rugged farmers here are not used to being taxed. They may resent it. The merchants are also used to the keeps portion of the high road being a free road, but a dangerous one. If we tiddy them at all, they may consider longer, safer backcountry roads or hiring ships from Highcliff. Until the land is tamed, any taxes you impose may only chase those we need away. Okay, well... The taxes the farmers pay may need to be adjusted. Unlike merchants, farmers aren't taxed regularly, but after the Luscan War, Lord Nasher has been forced to, uh, forced to send tax collectors to his lands more frequently. You can expect the same. I will let you know when the tax collectors are coming through, but you have to set the tax amount before then. 
How do you want it adjusted? Well, what do the farmers think of the taxes right now? What few farmers are on our lands appreciate it. Given time, safety and no taxes, more farmers will come to live on your lands. Uh, let's talk of something else. Ah! Hmm. How are the surrounding areas then? Our roads are some of the most dangerous in the realms. Only well-armed travelers would consider going down them. Only a few mer merchants use our roads, not enough to support the keep. It isn't too much different than when you became captain. The surrounding lands are as wild as they were to begin with, possibly worse. Bandits have been using this area as a haven for many years. They will be hard to drive out. There have been hardly any changes since we've started here. The same handful of farmers buried in the hills. The land is practically empty. Well... Okay, let's go here again in depth about the men, blah blah blah. Let's change subjects. Ah, uh, yeah, tithing. Uh, a light tax is what is needed for the farmers. As you command, Captain. Okay, then uh, merchant traffic. Currently there are no tithies on the road, a merchant's fondest wish. A light tithy. It will be as you command. Okay, talk of something else then. Uh, I want to organize the men. We have several men, Captain, and there are many things we can do with them. The men can be assigned different tasks, training and garrison duty, patrolling the roads and the keep's lands, and trying to recruit more grey cloaks to join our ranks. I have assigned the men to training and garrisoning the keep for now. On occasion, special assignments may be available. It might be wise to check back with me whenever you come to the keep. Do you want to reassign what your grey cloaks are doing? Mm. We need more men. Have them try to recruit more grey cloaks. We could certainly use more men, Captain. More men does mean more expenses, though. Over the next day, I'll start sending men out to nearby villages and hamlets to find more recruits. Okay. Um... I think it's farewell for now, and uh, I think we might now actually get some people we've met earlier to join us here. Uh, like the girl in Port Last, what was her name? Whose husband we found dead in uh, the cave with the two insect collecting werewolf uh, girls, sisters. Uh, as she said, she'll be waiting there and wants us to tell her if there would be work for her. So, I guess we might have na some work for her now. The construction is complete, Captain. I am eager to hear what you want us to do next. Okay, how are things in the keep? I forgot what I told him to build. <laughs> it's starting to get packed. You really should let me fix some things. It just looks distaste distasteful. <laughs> So many people milling around in the rubble. Okay, I want to rebuild something. My favorite subject. So much to build, so much to work on. What part of the keep do you want to talk about? Funds remaining 62,000 plus. Mm. Okay. The surrounding areas, I think, at the moment. Besides the keep, my men can work on getting the merchant trails in a better state of repair. The trail to our keep is especially dreadful. It looks like it was made by goats, not men. Uh, well, well, where was I? Oh yes, and also work on the surrounding roads. Both will help trade, but they take time. While my men are working on that, however, they can't be assigned to other projects. Yeah, yeah. Okay, 10,000 again. Have the men work on making the trail to crossroad keep wider and easier for merchant wagons to travel. Not my favorite of duties, but it will not only help travelers and merchants, but it will help me with my materials. So much to do, so much to do. Get to do it then. Um, okay, let's check uh, the inn as it's open already before we head out to find people. Let's see what we find in here. La 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 la... Bishop. 
Um, oh, let's chat with him a bit. So what does the great captain of Crossroad Keep want with his humble tracker? Something you want hunted down, my lord, or some forsaken path scouted? Um, yeah, I have some questions. <laughs> Don't we all? Yeah. Hmm, never mind, I'll be going now. Nothing new. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was quite funny. Oh, look, it's Sal from uh, the Sunken Flagon. I <laughs> guess he had enough of Duncan. Let's chat with him. <laughs> It's you, uh, Captain, right? It's Sal, Sal from the Sunken Flagon. Well, formerly off the Flagon. I've been wiping tables for your uncle for years, with always the promise of starting my own inn. But it always seemed to be just words, until you came along. Once I heard what you were doing here, I packed my bags, wrote a note, and here I am. <laughs> um, why start an inn here? This keep's got everything going for it. It's right on the high road, it'll get plenty of merchant caravans, and it's got... well, you too. <laughs> I figure I can turn this into a respectable inn, clean with entertainment. Oh, and good food. I mentioned I'm a cook, right? Okay, well, what's in this for me? <laughs> You'll get plenty out of this. I'll bring customers, provide a place for the merchants to drink, eat and spend a little money. Look, trust me, you need an inn. And that means an innkeeper. Me. And drinks will always be in the house, Captain. Okay. <laughs> be my guest. You're welcome here. <laughs> house business. Quiet, as you might expect. So I've been working on the inn. The inn hasn't been abandoned too long, so it didn't need too much work. But I'm keeping it clean, hoping. Waiting for the customers to start rolling in. Well, they will start rolling in soon, Sal. Don't worry. <laughs> At least I hope so. <laughs> okay, let's uh, start going around the area. See who we can recruit here. I kind of... Uh, <laughs> Though listening to Deakin can be a bit annoying at times, I kind of hope he would join us here. <laughs> but we will see soon. Let's head out. Uh, lots of locked doors for now. To farm. Let's see if um, there's anything new here. Probably not. There is a farmer. Wow. And the fields are still fenced, so we can't even go chat with this guy. <laughs> the lonely farmer. <laughs> no wonder he's lonely. Some people, uh, when for example painting indoors, paint their way into the corner, this guy fenced himself into the field. <laughs> Wolf's minion is here. Can you take me someplace? Uh, yeah, farewell. Only inside the keep. Oh, now we can change our party when leaving the keep as well. But uh, we won't change it anyway at this point. Let's start with West Harbor, as always. <laughs> Hear tall tales of the Swamp Elf again. <laughs> yeah, that guy is one who will not be joining us in the keep. Even if he begs. <laughs> Hello, Daddy. Still giving us the silent treatment. Okay, oh, good luck. Why won't you guys Looks join like it didn't us? Take you long to make new friends. <laughs> Aww, jealous little bevel. <laughs> uh, anything new happen while I've been gone? It's been quiet since the attack. Everyone's just working to fix all of the damage done, and Georg has the militia training even harder now. 
Well, good for you guys. He's pretty upset about the number of harbormen we lost, and wants to make sure we're better prepared if there's a next time. So, there haven't been any further attacks. No attacks. I guess sending you away with the shard really made a difference. So, um, maybe you shouldn't stay too long. No offense, but if that shard is what caused all the trouble, you really should keep it away from here. Uh, yeah. Don't worry, who'd want to come back here if it wasn't... Um... Well, nearly mandatory. <laughs> Yeah, farewell. We will not be having that idiot retard with us in the keep. Either. Ah, I heard you came back, yes? You probably are here. Same for some old, sort of same reason, old. Yeah, farewell. Okay, Orlan. You came back for something? Yeah, I have some empty fields at Crossroad Keep. I could use some farming help. I reckon you got you get all sorts of responses to that. Maybe people asking you to do all manner of fool things. You're no king of mine, but you're a harbourman, and that's the next best thing. I'll stay with you a season or two to get your crops in order. May take me a bit to gather my things. I hope the rot infested road is clear of lizardlings now. Of course it is. Okay, we got one farmer. What about brother marrying men? Welcome back to West Harbor, Lord. You seem a different person than the one that left here. I hope that the days that have passed haven't been filled with too much hardship. <laughs> no, not at all. It's been a breeze. Walk in the park. Idiot. Mm, okay, nothing here. Farewell. Uh, what about Retta? You're back from your travels. They say it isn't for good. Again. Uh, okay, farewell then. That was short and sweet. Georg, hello. So, you made the trip safely. Seen more of the world, eh? <laughs> Don't suppose you've run into that swamp elf? It's as tall as a house, I'm telling you. You didn't learn anything from when we came by here with Eleni, did you? Farewell. Yeah. Nothing else here. Well, we did at least get one farmer. That's better than nothing. Okay, next to Fort Lock. Ta-da! Okay, tour Milos. Giving us the silent treatment still. What about this craftmaster? Uh no questions about crafting farewell. Okay then, next uh Commander Tan. Fortlock soldier, let's steal the soldiers here. <laughs> uh okay. Yes, there's nothing really there. Galen is still here. Let's see if he'd like to join us. And once again, you've cleared a path, path for me, blah blah blah. Uh, I'm glad I could help. Uh, yeah. Farewell. Oh, yeah. By the way, actually. Um, let's go through the. Um, crafting materials these merchants have, and I think we'll buy some. Uh, Belladonna can is also uh, a basic crafting component. Don't know if we'll need that much though. Um, yes. Wait, shave, uh, shave me was carrying. There was a oh yes, bolts for shave me by the way. And um hmm. Distilled alcohol is as well. Yeah, quartz crystal. Aren't really 
all that useful, so... Let's take the dark steel ingot and diamond dust. We'll leave the rest. Yes. Then Jacoby. Ooh, come work for me. I need a weaponsmith at Crossroad. Ah, well, actually, let's. Well, if he comes, I think his inventory would. You'd think his inventory would stay intact, and he mostly has molds anyway. Yeah. Come work for me, I need a weaponsmith at Crossroad Keep. I hate to say this, but I was talking with a trader from Neverwinter about your keep, and he mentioned that the smithy there is still in ruins. I'd be useless to you if I have no place to ply my trade, but if you build it, why, I'll come straight away. Okay then, we'll have to come back for Jacoby once we get the smithy rebuilt. Okay, let's chat with these refugees. I apologize, but we're preparing to leave this place soon and I have no time to speak. What you did for us back at the camp, I'm not sure we can ever really thank you properly. Of course you can't, you have no money to do that. Well, not enough, at least. <laughs> okay then, um... Nothing else there. Yes. Oh yeah, let's. No wait. How can I help? Who has that? Um. Ah, Kelgar has <laughs> the crafting bag as well. Yeah. Yes. I think those two were yeah the Follow only ones me. we bought. Oh yes, definitely. Mm hmm. Uh, the dwarven scouts are still marked here, but I'm guessing there's nothing uh, here actually. And yeah, let's check this out just in case. And yes, there is nothing here. Well, I'll not waste time moving further. Old Owl Well. Let's see if the miners will come work for us. I'm not entirely sure if we can get miners though. What would they do? Mine the floors in the keep? <laughs> but we'll see. Hello, Sergeant. 